That was the explosion we were looking for. <laughs> Let's analyze this pumpkin drop. First, I want to get my video to take up as much of the screen as possible so I can get really nice data from it. The next thing I'm gonna do is get my scale object done here. So I've got a two meter long red stick. Cover that up, mark that down as two meters. Now I wanna set my coordinate system. I want my origin to be at ground level where that pumpkin is going to fall. So let's get that just right. And once I've got that set just the way I want it, then I can start adding my dots, one dot for each frame of the video where the pumpkin is. Ooh, doesn't move very quickly at the top, so I've got to get rid of those trails. And this is going to be a lot of dots. Let's speed that up a little. I do move the crosshairs off of my target every time I make a dot, just to make sure that I am always trying to get right in the center. And with such a long distance to fall, the pumpkin gets faster and faster. It gets blurrier and blurrier. I'm just doing my best trying to hit the center of the pumpkin. So once I've got the pumpkin all the way at the ground, I am done with my dots and I'm ready to look at my graphs. Oh, oh look at all those nice dots. So first thing, let's call up a graph and make it a little bit bigger. I'm interested in the acceleration and I'm interested in the Y direction only. So let's get rid of all of our horizontal position data and let's pull in a second graph so that we can look at the acceleration, which is gonna be the slope of the vertical velocity versus time graph. Let's get that slope. I'm gonna discard those bits at the end. Get my linear fit, yes. Negative 9.79 meters per second squared. Very happy with this pumpkin drop. You're good, John. That was a good one. Nice. Yeah. That was a solid one. Yeah, that was a solid one. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Ooh, that was a solid one.